morning and welcome to day 21 of the cross-country road trip from Key West Florida all the way up to northern Alaska the last time you guys saw me I was in Austin Texas picking up my friend from the airport who just so happened to be on a work trip in the area um, and we went out the next night and had a bunch of fun and I woke up feeling pretty horrible the next day so I didn't get to film in a video but I did end up driving an hour south down here to San Antonio Texas in this uh, beautiful Walmart parking lot where we slept last night because I had a package that I needed to pick up in the uh, in the area but it ended up getting messed up it wasn't at the post office they couldn't find it so i wasn't able to get my package so i ended up just driving here to the walmart hung out for the night and now uh here we are eating captain crunch in the parking lot delicious so first of all yes i changed i took off that big heavy jacket put this corduroy one on um, but I think before I leave San Antonio today, I'm gonna head down into the city and check out the uh, river walk because it's something I've always wanted to go see and something I've never taken the time to go see even when I have, uh, even when I've been in the area. So since we're so close today, I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do is head down there before we head out this afternoon, making more progress westwards towards uh, Big Bend National Park because that's where I think our next destination will be. enough room at this entrance to pull up to the ticket thing. There you go. So I don't think we're too far from the river walk itself. I think we're like two blocks away. It's actually pretty good parking, but I don't think I'm gonna be stealth camping in the city tonight just because I really don't feel like it. And I think before I actually go out, I'm gonna grab another hoodie because it's kind of cold out today. There we go. Much warmer. All right. That sign right there says Riverwalk. I'm guessing it's right through here, through the uh, restaurant. There we go. So before the Riverwalk was lined with all these restaurants and apartment buildings and stuff like that, it was used to supply water to Spanish explorers. It wasn't turned into this kind of touristy place with boat rides and all of this stuff until the 1930s and wasn't even considered a success until the 60s. So there's definitely a lot of history in this place, which is pretty cool. And it's interesting because the Alamo is kind of right up this way. And that was one of the first missions that kind of benefited from this river and the water. But yeah, it's spots like this that are kind of like a lot more fun if you have other people and it's a little bit more romantic like I would take my girlfriend here or something Cute little dog But it is cool living in a van and being able to come to all these different cities and check them out and see All the cool stuff that they have to offer because then once I do figure out where I want to get a place or where I want to end up It'll be a lot easier to make kind of a uh, informed decision I'm honestly kind of surprised some of these spots don't have railings too. I can imagine people fall in here quite often, especially with all these bars being so close. And speaking of the Alamo, it's not that far from the river walk, so we'll go check that out too. It's so hard to imagine what this space would have looked like before all these buildings were up, now that they're here. But it is pretty cool that this wasn't destroyed. San Ana's not a happy camper. And a siege is on. So this right here is a good depiction of what the I guess battle would have looked like. I think that building right there is the church right there. Pretty crazy. So this is kind of an idea of what some of the uh, fortifications would have looked like in the Alamo. So they built this like this wooden wall right here along the side of the church entrance that didn't have any stone walls. And that's where they put these cannons and would fire down on the attacking forces. Alright, that was pretty cool. Checked out the Alamo, checked out the Riverwalk. It's just a lot of restaurants. Um, so there's not really like much to do down there if you're not hungry. And I'm not really too hungry, so I think I'm gonna head back to the van and try to find a spot that we can uh, 
get out of the city and go camping tonight. All right, let's see if we can find somewhere cool to park tonight. So I know these videos may have been a bit redundant in the places that I've been staying so far, but that's only because pretty much anywhere east of Texas, there is nowhere to camp out in the wilderness. There's a few spots and we've stayed in some of them, but by and large, there's just not a lot of free wilderness camping because there's not a lot of BLM land. But once you get west of Texas, there's pretty much BLM land everywhere. So from here on out, we'll be able to find some pretty cool campsites. So Big Bend National Park is kind of far from where we currently are. Uh, it's about five and a half, six hours away, so I'm not going to drive all the way there tonight, but we're going to get a good amount of driving in. So let's see if we can find somewhere. Alright, so I think I found this pretty cool spot at this overlook. We definitely won't get there before the uh, sun goes down, so we won't be able to see the view till tomorrow morning, but it'll be nice to wake up with a coffee and a view tomorrow morning for a change. And I also think that I'm going to make crab legs for dinner tonight because I have uh, three or four crab legs in my fridge that I bought for that shrimp oil that I did and never used. And I want to use them before they go bad, so I think that's what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. Oh, it's so far away. $20 for an hour. These parking lots are ridiculous. Well, I actually just pressed on the gas instead of the brake. That could have been bad. There we go. We're free. spot that we're going to should be right up here somewhere at this picnic area. Looks like it might be right up here to the left. I'm gonna drive up here. You can't really see me right now because it's so dark, but it was so creepy. So we got some picnic tables. Looks like there's another RV. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's another RV right up there. And then right over to the right should be a giant overlook of the valley. So I guess we'll see that in the morning. I'm gonna pull in right next to one of these picnic tables. I had to turn the light on so you guys could see me. But this is going to be our spot for the night. Probably won't be able to see much right now, but in the morning, it should be really nice. Oh my gosh, the stars are spectacular. Probably won't be able to see them on the camera, but oh my God, that is amazing. Well, this is our spot. You won't be able to see anything when I point the camera out there. But right now you're looking over what is supposedly a beautiful overlook. Not really much to do outside because you can't really see much. So I think for now, I'm just gonna make some dinner because it's been a long day of driving and I'm starving. And those crab legs are calling my name. I hope these are still good. They've only been in there for like five days. So they should be. I'm actually kind of glad I'm cooking the uh, crab legs tonight because they are one of the simplest things that you can cook. You essentially just throw them in a pot of boiling water. First things first. Let's get this water to a boil. And I actually do kind of wish that I had filled up my diesel tank for my heater so that I could use my heater tonight because it's actually supposed to get pretty cold. I spent so much time down south that I forgot it's winter time. It's supposed to get down to 25 degrees Fahrenheit or negative four degrees for all of my people using Celsius. So it's gonna be pretty cold tonight. Let's open these up and see how they look. I hope they don't look bad. Oh, they smell fine. And I thought I got more than this, I'm not gonna lie. And I kind of got gypped on this one. This one doesn't even have its claw. Also, while I wait for this water to boil, I'm gonna start getting my butter mixture all melted up so I have something to dip them in. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of embarrassed right now because I'm from Maryland and I realized when I got here that I actually don't have any Old Bay. I think what I'm gonna use for seasoning in the butter is just some of this Cajun seasoning because it's kind of similar to Old Bay. It's not like the real thing, but gotta make do with what we have. So basically I'm just melting up some butter and I'm just gonna add a bunch of this seasoning in there. And then I'll use that as like a kind of dip for the crab legs. Oh, and I also forgot, I've got to warm up the leftover shrimp oil I have from uh, Louisiana. And just throw all of this in there. 
and let that heat up. All right, so I also added some water to this so it kind of like steams. Now I'm gonna add this Cajun seasoning to the butter. Just add a bunch of it in there. And then this will be our crab leg chicken sauce. cook for about five minutes. All right, I think these are all cooked up, ready to eat. Everything looks delicious. Let's get it all plated up and in my belly. I also cut up some lemons and funny thing, I actually bought these lemons for the uh, shrimp oil and forgot to use them. So excited, I love crab legs. That, my friend, is a beautiful looking dinner. Oh yeah, and also, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know, I have a soda stream, but I lost the bottle for it. But today I went into the store and got this like personal size one, so I'm also gonna make myself some seltzer water to go with dinner. I honestly don't think I could have asked for a better, more easy to cook dinner to eat after a long car ride. It's always the best when you can get it out in one chunk. Look at that, beautiful. Can't imagine it's gonna taste the same without Old Bay, but cheers. That's yeah, not bad. I'm also super pumped to see what this view looks like in the morning, because from the pictures that I've seen, it looks pretty spectacular. Ooh. All right, that was an absolutely delicious dinner. I probably have it all over my face, but I think I'm probably just going to clean this whole mess up and then hang out in the van for a little bit, maybe play some Xbox and then get to bed. So I will leave you guys with a nighttime montage and we'll check out that view in the morning. definitely pretty cold last night when I slept well and now that the um, Sun is back out it's heating up the exterior of the van and since I put these like plugs in on both of the vent fans so none of the heat can escape it's actually pretty warm in here right now but I know that it's not warm outside and also I just want to show you how blacked out the van is so if I turn this one light off and I'm turning the camera around this is what the inside of the van looks like the only real light you can see is a sliver coming in from the front cab area and then the back lights on my TV but this is how bright it actually is outside. That's the view that I was talking about last night that we weren't able to see, but now we can. It's actually pretty cool. It looks like a uh, massive canyon or something. But anyways, it is time to get up because we slept in a little later than I wanted to. Make some coffee. Ooh, really bright out. But this is the spot. You guys can see what I was talking about. You have the tables down there. This is like the parking area. The RV was parked there last night, but they left early this morning. And then this is the, uh, the view of the canyon. Not a bad place to wake up. So I had to pick up some Folgers at the gas station on the way here so we can have coffee today. Here's the big cup today. So quiet. Great way to wake up in the morning. This is the stuff, in my opinion, that makes van life worth it. Being out in places like this in absolute silence, just being able to kind of take it in and appreciate it all. It's a pretty crazy feeling, especially after staying in rest stops, truck stops, Walmart parking lots, and cities for the past three weeks. All right. I think that's enough of uh, sitting here and taking in the view. The coffee's cold and I'm getting hungry. So I think I'm gonna head back up to the uh, van, make myself some breakfast. I'm not sure the exact total number of miles we've driven. I think it's somewhere around 35 to 3,600 miles since we drove kind of a long distance last night. But yeah, we're making some progress on our way up to Alaska. I might stay and hang out in this spot for another day. I haven't really decided yet, but as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Your comments mean the absolute world to me. I've been going in and I've been trying to reply to as many comments as I can. So. 
I really do appreciate you guys. And um, if you like my content, you haven't already, think about clicking that subscribe button. It really does help. On that note, I'm going to make myself some breakfast and I will catch you guys next time.